we took our dive into insanity. Um, now, can we please be uh, enlightened by one of the most beautiful squishy minds um, of our time? Uh, that is Dr. JBP, Dr. Jordan Peterson. Yeah, and I just want to shout out um, the at the bad stats on Twitter who uh, who urgently posted this video. They're a good follow for um, IDW idiocy. Uh, <laughs> Let's just play this clip. This is Jordan Peterson talking about climate, and he talks. He has he gets annoyed with the climate change types um, mm. here, and uh, let's hear what his concern is. Hard to sort out. The climate change one is a weird one. So that well, one that's because um, there's no such thing as climate, right? Climate and everything are the same word, and I that's what bothers me about the climate change types. It's like this is something that bothers me about it. Technically, it's like mm. climate is about everything. So, okay, but your models aren't based on everything. Your models are based on Warming. a set number of variables. Yeah. So that means you've reduced the variables, which are everything, to that set. Well, how did you decide which set of variables to include in the equation if it's about everything? And that's not just a criticism. That's like, if it's about everything, your models aren't right. Because mm. your models do not and cannot model everything. What do you mean by everything when you say... <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> see, those, that's the bit of Rogan that I love. He's just, yeah. just going to let you go and keep you going. He's, the, you know, he's not going to shut you down. <laughs> yeah, like I, I think, I think Rogan has, uh, you know, a bunch of quacks in his ear about uh, coronavirus, um, and I think people should they criticize him for that. Um, but I do want to point out that somebody did say that he did push back on a couple of different Jordan Peterson things in this uh, this episode. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's another thing that he's subjecting, you know, your friend who's a Joe Rogan head to four fucking hours of Jordan Peterson <laughs> talking yeah, about you know what is climate? Is, I mean, everything. Is it my shoes? Like, is it my haircut? Does that is that need to be in the model, Jordan? For us to understand that fucking temperatures are rising. How about I mean, that? Matt, your chaos energy is warming up the room right now. I don't think it's so chaotic to think like, hey, uh, let's have a graph that shows like years. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, one that shows temperatures and one that shows carbon in the atmosphere. Like maybe, I don't know. I, maybe we need a model like what my cats are doing uh, every day to get that, to really get everything. But I don't think that models quite need to be that sensitive. Well, what's beautiful about, um, and I don't want to take this from you, Matt, so... Um, you know, you go on with this, but like what's beautiful about Jordan Peterson is his like merging of kind of traditional like conservatism, like we need to be drilling, 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 um, and like postmodernism, right? Yes. As he's the poster boy of the guy against postmodernism. The rationality, baby. And yeah, like, and you know, actually, I, I do kind of need your help for this. So, like, the Baudrillard piece, the Gulf War didn't exist, right? Like, I've never mm -hmm. read that. I think I basically get the idea, right? Though that the, it's the framing of it as a war, like, it's like, you know, <laughs> World War II or something. It was just you know, shelling, right? And mm -hmm. that sort of stuff, right? And, and, and so, uh, and also, like, the way like, we, you know, we, maybe it's something about, you know, do we show bodies coming back or do we ban that? Um, that sort of stuff. But um, like that's I mean, what, no, the, that, I mean, that's the post modern. Post sorry. Go ahead. No, yeah, go on. No, I mean like the post modern, like what, what Peterson is doing in, in this clip is just funny because it's happening in, um, you know, not intro to philosophy classes, but this is like your 300 level philosophy class. You've taken a few classes and somebody started to read postmodernism, which by the way, I'm not like even saying that this is like, invalid um to explore yes. these kind of arguments but essentially you know what these kind of things is like whenever you see a kind of like authority you need to challenge it right so whenever you're saying something's like well i'm modeling this experience um you know we're going to we're going to um challenge it maybe a better example of this and this is way too like intellectual honestly for how stupid this jordan peterson <laughs> but like um you know like a common criticism would be something like in the philosophy of the mind right um, you look at when people say, oh, we have an understanding of the brain because we can like model and map it and we can, you know, and, and we can study it. and there'll be a picture of, you know, human brain with like different sections of it lit up. And, you know, the, the kind of like uh, postmodern criticism is like, well, what does this tell you about anything? Or particularly, what does this tell you about this person or any of that kind of experience? Right. Um, you know, like it's challenging a certain kind of, of knowledge um, by pointing out what's lacking within it, right? Um, which, again, like, I think there's some serious limitations to that. I think a lot of people really get too excited. Um, you know, I, I'm not a postmodernist 
per se. But like, I'm not going to say right now that it's like a completely, um, you know, ridiculous way, you know, a ridiculous like school of thought. What Jordan Peterson right there is doing, though, um, is ridiculous because one, he's asserting that people, whenever they're talking about climate, they're talking about everything, um, which I, I think, I don't know. I mean, it's such an abstraction. It's hard to even like tease out. But if I'm just going to be a little bit cheap and easy here, well, what they mean by being everything is they mean by like the ability of human beings to continue um, existing on this planet in the way that they do, Jordan. Uh, so yeah, yeah, no, I mean, it certainly does touch a lot of different things. Um, yeah, maybe they're not modeling um, GDP. And maybe that'd be something that you would like for them to be including um, in, in their models. Or like maybe you'd get a very different result if you were including um, you know, Exxon's profit margin um, in, in your kind of, um, you know, models for what the future will look like if we don't do anything. Um, but I don't know. I mean, it's, it's nitpicking because you know what variables they are including in, in there? The ones that fucking matter, right? The temperature of the earth, the amount of precipitation that we're getting in different communities, the threat of wildfires, the, the, the sea level rising, right? Like, no, I mean like, yeah, you know, I would prefer if we could have a complete knowledge, right? Like how happy I'm going to be, maybe, you know, um, will I, uh, you know, will I be able to make some money on the Cowboys next year or something like that? Right. That'd be great if we can include that into the, the modeling too. And it was hundred percent accurate, but if we are living in a situation where we have incomplete, um, we have an incomplete ability to sort of map out the future. I would yeah. like to be able to map out the variables that make that, that prevent, um, you know, my house from being underwater in 10 years or my, uh, you know, <laughs> um, my, uh, my childhood home from being burnt down by a preventable wildfire because the temperature in Texas has just gone up to 130 <laughs> degrees a year. Right. I mean, come on, man, this is simple stuff. It doesn't yeah. take a brain genius um, to realize that like you can make some criticisms of, of modeling and hell. You know who does that? Scientists, yeah, right? right? It's like the scientific <laughs> kind of process. their bags. <laughs> um, yeah, and I'll tell the... you, I mean, just that's the thing that's so funny to me about, about. I mean, there's a million things that are funny about Peterson, but like his like merging of like irrationality and like postmodernism, the big sins of our time, right? Um, yeah. With that kind of like IDW. James Lindsay Barrier Weiss, you know, like that whole like community. There's like we're standing up for the Western values um, of like rationality and science and, and 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 liberal capitalism, right? And then Jordan Peterson is like, you have to slay the dragon, and there is no kind of certainty in science, so that we can't uh, we can't know anything unless we know everything. In his fucking bow tie too. Um, <laughs> um, Baller, uh, I like this. I like this tweet from uh, Joseph Clark. Uh, Jordan Peterson is basically mRNA vaccines can't claim to be sound and settled science, unlike, say, Jungian metapsychology. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I literally wrote one time I was home in Bismarck. I got I was in an argument with Twitter from a Jordan Peterson fan who was literally trying to like prove to me some like frankly woo ass shit about mm -hmm. like the the meta the Jungian meta universe of like synchronicity and stuff. And it's like, look, man. I I I want Jordan Peterson to have his tenure to do this shit. Yeah. But I also think he should be able to tolerate maybe like gender and race studies down the fucking hall. Uh, and <laughs> let's just cool down a little bit because like, that's the thing. Like he's right. Like, you're right. Like he is he is more fun than a lot of these uh, IDW folks. And I say that like of course you know noting uh, his yeah, sort yeah. of bigoted martyrdom for the trans folks. Like I like uh, obviously despicable guy. But like this thing where he is skeptical of their scientific progress thing. Like like where you have like Sam Paris was like yeah we're going to model the brain uh, actually probably mm -hmm. in five years and find out that Muslims are incompatible with democracy or something like that. Right. And uh, Jordan Peterson's like well I don't think science can do that like that. Um, it's it's kind of it's a it's a I mean. Ultimately, these are you know, freaks, but um, can be entertaining sometimes. I wonder where Jordan um, ate when he was here in Austin. I always think about that when Dress people like go on Joe Rogan. <laughs> yeah, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> what's what's the funniest place in Austin that he would go dressed like that? <laughs> well, um, Joe Rogan's like favorite because Joe Rogan lives out west and like. It's just such a classic thing. Like he has the funniest barbecue restaurant that he loves, County Line, out there, which is not a bad place. Don't get me wrong, but it's also like, oh man, this is like you're from New Jersey and like you're still like sort of swimming in the mecca that is like Texas barbecue right now. And you're like, this is the greatest thing I've ever had. I do like to think about Jordan Peterson maybe going out there in his full bow tie, <laughs> um, <laughs> freaking out the locals.